I don't even care anymore. Right. So, well, this is cooking. Let's take a look at the factory and I'll be checking, well, showing. The furnaces will be going here, smokestacks coming up there. Actually, I wonder, in my single, well, multiplayer with Deadly, I have a, yes, great, lovely. Okay, then coal will be coming somewhere out of here and be loaded on a train. And the train will be riding around our mm. farm and stuff, like here. Dumping the coal in the machines, in the furnaces, the generators I mean. Everywhere we need it, because it's cheaper than making power cables and you don't lose any power. Uh, and you can get, you get to use trains, which is the main reason I'm doing it really. I want to use as many mods as possible, even if it's a bit inconvenient. This is going to take a lot more bricks than I have. So I'll be going hunting for more clay soon. But up until then I can place our first furnace. Well, our first furnace bricks may is a correct word. Right here. There's also a blast furnace, but I'm not sure what that one does. I forgot, really. It's been a long time ago. <laughs> been a long while. So, right. Meanwhile, well, actually, maybe I should go for a clay first. Sounds like a better option. Are those hives? Yeah, man, there's a lot of lots of bees right here. It's good, good. Maybe I should start bees uh, sometime soon. I can AFK it once I have power. I mean AFK, I can just let it do its thing without having to uh, put much time in it really. The annoying thing is that, is that you have to graft leaves. It basically means you just have to shear all the leaves of a tree time and time again. And I'm not really up for that. Not yet. <laughs> Right, so the first furnace is in place, which means we can start importing wood, putting it in here and getting some free coal. 
but for that I will need to make a generator, another generator to get some power right here. I could try to tap from the one uh, next to the farm right there, but like I said I'm gonna keep power local and just ship it over since it's a lot cheaper than laying cables and a lot more fun certainly. <laughs> So yeah, man, look at this. This is just one massive block of wood I'm gonna farm. Once I put uh, coal in there, it's just all gonna disappear in a few minutes. This is gonna be good. And, well, I'm gonna keep the ultimate column there until it's fully automatical. Which does make sense, I mean, in a way, right? So, first up, let's build a generator. I have a feeling I already made one and lost it somewhere. One that will uh, pop up someday. But, well, not much use to me if I don't know where it is, right? Those things are really cheap to make, actually, if you think about it. Really, a bit of stone. Uh, like, how much is it? 14 iron? Yeah, 14 iron and two redstone which is nothing really I mean really nothing so back to the factory it's getting dark again so I just torch my way over there pop them down everywhere I'll put it here for now. I'll move it later on. Ah, damn it. But it's just easier to have it standing right here for the moment. Especially since I don't have to make extra cable. Which is a whole lot of bullshit out of the way. Right, let's start this thing up. Just put that in. Oh, right. Silly me, I forgot the cables. Anyway, let's see what it gives. Pop this right there. Um, where are the controls? Right there. Um, the outboard is on the wrong side. Okay. There we go. We kind of have fully auto farm right now. Well, fully auto, semi auto. I just have to ship it over between here and there. But once the bricks are done, even that is not a thing anymore. But that will be a thing for the next episode. So, guys, end of my batch again. Batch number 5, I think. I made 3 in 3 days. Still have to bring out episode number 3 due to some editing issues. Uh, well, not with the editor, but with the editing program. So, like, favorite, share, you know, you know the drill, all that nonsense. And I'll see you guys in a few episodes. Well, <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>